Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and this is my first impressions look on the Adidas Harden Volume 5. So this is James Harden's fifth signature shoe with Adidas and uh, I'm actually super excited or was super excited about this shoe. It's going for 130 bucks so uh, I guess they did decrease the price from uh, the Harden Volume 4. Uh, actually it was like 130 and or 140 bucks depending on the colorway. So if you guys want to cop I'll try to leave a link in the description box. I don't think they're available yet. They were on adidas.com for a little bit but then I believe they sold out in this colorway for some reason. Uh, but if it is available I'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started off with the Traciones, right? So if you look at the actual outsole pattern, it looks very, very similar to the Harden Step Back 2. Actually pretty much identical besides it saying boost here in the middle of the shoe. And it just says boost inside. And obviously, there's probably boost inside, right? So uh, the traction seems pretty good, I guess. Uh, trying it on my wood floors, it seems to have a pretty high-pitched squeak. But the bite doesn't seem like top, top tier, but obviously we're gonna have to find out about that. In this colorway, we have a light bone color and the rubber is actually pretty hard. And if you guys saw the review for the Harden Step Back 2, if the Harden Volume 5 is anything like the Step Back 2, uh, it's probably gonna be very, very durable. Like the Step Back 2 was surprisingly very, very durable. So uh, that's a good thing. And also another cool thing about this outsole is that if you look at the forefoot of the shoe, there's more lines or more grooves where the ball of your foot is, which is a high wear area. And obviously that's where you want more durability. So that's a cool little touch there. Uh, moving on to the heel to toe transition, it feels really, really bad actually in this shoe, right? So uh, starting from the one, Right, the one was really good. Look at that, very, very good forefoot flex. The heel uh, was kind of soft, but overall it was very smooth. Same with the two, you know, uh, even though it was very, very heavily caged here in the heel, you have a lot of forefoot flex. You have this boost midsole. The three was probably my favorite. And then also the four was very smooth. Look at this, it's just super easy and very, very flexible. The Harden Volume 5, however, right? So here, first of all, in the heel, it, it, it this rubber is just super thick and very, very clunky feeling for some reason. Like the Harden Volume 2 doesn't feel that way. Maybe, I don't know, if you look at it, I guess it's around the same shape, but uh, it's just super, super hard. So it feels very clunky here in the heel, not a whole lot of compression either, which we'll get into in cushion. And then here in the forefoot, look at that. That's very sad. It's a very flat shape here in the forefoot, which is unheard of in a hardened shoe. Like there's a lot more curve in all of his other shoes. And not only that, but look at that. You guys, it's just, I guess it looks just as flexible, but it's really hard to flex. I'm, I'm actually trying to flex it really hard. So this shoe feels very, very flat. It feels like a slapper a little bit, and it doesn't feel as smooth as all of his other shoes. So that's kind of a big disappointment as of right now. Of course, hopefully it breaks in, but you know, we'll have to see on that. Uh, all right, moving on to the cushioning setup, right? So they're using a combination of light strike and boost apparently. And um, I don't know where the boost is. No, no. <laughs> All right. So they're using basically a full length drop in boost midsole. And to be honest, I tried taking it out and, try, and I tried taking some shots of the actual midsole, but it's really, really hard. I could not get this midsole to come out of the shoe. It was just, it's glued down. It's super hard to take out. So I couldn't get any good shots. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but if you look at the bottom of the midsole, uh, there is a little bit of a midfoot shank plate. It's, it's plastic, it's on the bottom, and if you feel it, it's just a TPU. And the heel is surprisingly uh, kind of thick. And uh, if you look at the actual like drop in midsole, there's no strobo board. It's full on boost. There's a little bit of felt, but then the, where the felt is, it doesn't feel like stiff either, you know? So that's a really, really good thing. So basically your foot is right on top of boost and that should feel very, very nice, right? Um, not really. Uh, I, I can only feel the boost in the heel and it's, feels pretty damn thin you know it feels very thin there's a little bit of compression i i guess it feels kind of nice because the boost is pretty much right underneath my foot but like i said it's only in the heel the forefoot is pretty much dead i don't really feel anything at all from the boost it, even though the boost is right underneath my foot right so 
Uh, I feel like they thinned it out a little too much there. Um, and then where's the light strike? I don't know. If you guys look here on the sides, this looks like light strike, right? So when I first saw this, I was like, oh, the light strike is it's probably like, you know, a carrier or something. But if you touch this, it's literally plastic. Look at that. Why would you cage it so much? You don't need all this crap. Right, so it comes all the way here into the lateral side, comes all the way here into the forefoot or here in the tip of the toe, and <laughs> wraps around all the way here on the medial side. It's just so much crap that they put on here. I guess the only good thing is that like, you're pretty low to the ground, but to be honest, you don't feel as low to the ground as his other shoes, right? Hardens, for me personally, like when I play in the Harden, I know I'm gonna get really, really good court feel, right? But that's not what it feels like here in the volume five as much. Even though the court feel seems good, it just doesn't seem as good as the other ones. Um, but I guess uh, the cushion seems a little bit better than his other ones. Um, but to be honest, like the cushion in like all of his other shoes, like the one, the three even, the four and the two were still nice. So um, yeah, I, I'd say I, I'm kind of disappointed or pretty disappointed right now. Hopefully he breaks in and all that, but uh, there's a cushion there. All right, moving on to the materials. <laughs> so the materials here in the toe box and pretty much wrapping around here into the midfoot, we got a textile material. They're calling it a textile, even though it looks like a screen mesh even. All right, so feeling it here in the toe box, it feels like a very, very thin material, right? But then if you go down even a little bit here to the tip of the toe, there's like I said, there's this plastic material and then you have this felt or synthetic whatever material this is. It's glued down and feels super duper stiff. So because of how much there is here, it just stiffens up the entire forefoot and it feels horrendous. And it reminds me of the Harden Volume 1 actually. Remember in the Harden Volume 1 uh, when I got it, uh, there was actually a good amount of pinching where the forefoot flexes. So it would hurt the top of my foot. And that's exactly what I feel here in the Harden Volume 5s. And it feels really, really bad. It feels flimsy, it feels stiff, even though it's a thin material. I don't know how you mess it up this bad, um, but it, it's not looking good so far. And I uh, <laughs> don't like how it feels all too much. Here for the tongue, there is, there's like very, very minimal padding. And the tongue is also attached to a material that goes underneath this textile material so it's a half booty construction tongue and they're calling it a future natural feeling or like let me read what they actually tell you guys right so it says the Harden volume 5 from adidas basketball have a revolutionary fit and lockdown for ultimate freedom of movement on the court <laughs> Future natural technology introduces a new fit system and a seamless mold for complete control. And um, yeah, it's, it doesn't really do anything. It's, it's nothing new to be honest, but uh, I guess I do like the half booty construction tongue. And if you look here in the heel or the ankle area, we have four uh, Achilles pillows, which feel nice on the Achilles. But to be honest, uh, I feel a little bit of heel slippage just because of how freaking stiff this shoe is, right? Even these Achilles pillows can't fix it, I don't think. But maybe when I break it, it'll get a little bit softer. But right now, uh, the material is super stiff. The shoe is super stiff. So when I'm like walking around, my heel wants to pop out of the shoe a little bit. So, um, I mean, the addition of the Achilles pillows is nice. Like I said, it feels comfortable there, but it doesn't really help all too much for lockdown or I guess like for it to have very good lockdown, you know? I, I feel like if it wasn't there, it'd be really bad. So <laughs> I guess it's good that it's there, but uh, yeah. So the materials are pretty damn trash. And like, like this textile material, like if you, feel where this last eyelid is, right? It looks super thin, right? So you're like, oh damn, it's probably a minimal feeling material. But then like, once you feel it, it's like, it literally feels like plastic. It's so damn stiff. Like, look, look, hear that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, they, uh, they, they messed up on the materials uh, pretty bad, I feel like. All right, now moving on to the fit. The fit is absolutely horrendous for me personally. So uh, you have to go down half a size. It runs long. I guess it's not horrendous, but it's just like, it's not a great fitting shoe for me personally. So like I said, it does have a little bit of length or actually a lot of bit of length. <laughs> and the here in the toe box is actually quite snug. So I feel like if I went down half a size, it would be a little too snug even. And then width wise, it also feels pretty snug width wise as well, even though 
like I said, it's a little bit roomy lengthwise. So if I went down half a size, this shoe would be very, very snug. So just watch out for that. It's a pretty weird fitting shoe right now. I guess one good thing though, is that it's a very easy shoe to put on because you have a very large heel tab and all that. But the fit uh, right now doesn't feel good. So I might have to double sock. Um, I, don't, I don't think putting an insole would uh, help all too much. Maybe it will, but I don't know. I don't really want to put anything on top of the boost. Double socking is probably what I'm going to have to do. All right, as far as the support in lockdown goes, though, I feel like the support in lockdown is going to be good. For lateral containment, we got this stupid plastic thing that goes all the way across the entire lateral side and the medial side. So that's good for uh, lateral containment, but not good for making the shoe feel like soft, right? Like, it's just, oh my goodness. And then, as you guys can see, there's really no outrigger, but it's a very, very wide base. A lot of stability, I feel like, is going to be good. All right, moving on to the weight of the shoe. This shoe feels so damn heavy. I feel like it's going to be like 14, 15 ounces. Let's, let's actually see. Oh my god, 16.2 ounces, guys. <laughs> Yo, what? 16.2 ounces how do you mess up that bad right so as you guys know the Harden volume 2 is probably the next heaviest i'm guessing because it's a pretty bulky feeling shoe because of all this rubber here and i don't think it's that heavy you have 14.57 right uh my favorite is probably the Harden volume 3 but the Harden volume 4 i feel like is probably the lightest after that yeah 12.87 ounces the Harden volume 3 is 12.38 ounces right so, I mean, Harden's line hasn't been like super light, but then it's been like average weight. And um, the Harden Volume 5 is just terrible. It's super heavy. It's super stiff. It even feels bulky and clunky here in the heel. It just doesn't feel good right now. And, the, and also like the fit and all that. So, uh, yeah, I, that's that's crazy. That's even heavier than the bronze, guys. 16.2 ounces. Are you freaking kidding me? Anyways, I really don't know where all that weight is coming from. Um, maybe, the, I, I don't know, man. There is a lot of rubber, so I guess maybe that. I don't know, but it, it, it's it's very, very heavy. All right, moving on to the aesthetics. What? That's one good thing about this shoe. I like how it looks, you know? I love the design of like the, like the bubbles or whatever these are. And uh, just the overall silhouette looks really, really cool, but yeah as far as the performance or how it feels right now it feels really really bad and my first impressions right now are terrible you know this is like one of the worst shoes i've actually tried in the past year there i don't think there's been anything else that's been as bad as this not even the kawaii's and the kawaii's actually hurt my achilles so um i'm pretty disappointed i i guess it can change though maybe uh, it breaks in nicely you know the shoe he starts to flex a little bit more the materials get a little bit softer but that's still not going to fix the weight and that's not going to fix the clunkiness either so um yeah even if it does break in and all that i don't think it's gonna be a great performer but you never know uh, we'll have to see on that right i know that it's a pretty bad first impressions on this because i was very very excited about it like when you look at the shoe it looks it looks dope it doesn't look like it's gonna be that heavy but like once you put it on foot and you feel it oh man it, it's it's something else Right, so uh, if you guys do want to get it, again, I'll try to leave a link in the description box, but uh, I would hold off until the actual review. That about wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.